Hello, my name is Mark Galvan, and I'm a recruiting manager for Argus IT Services. This overview in audio format is designed to give you additional information about this role as a pre-qualified candidate. Now, the reason we're doing this is because it's very time sensitive. We are trying to make hiring decisions before the holidays, and we can provide you a lot of information very quickly that you can conveniently listen to wherever you are anytime. Now, typically what would happen is a recruiter would reach out to you and schedule a conversation and you'd be asked a bunch of questions. It normally feels like an interrogation. And if you don't answer the right questions, you get disqualified or removed from the eligibility process. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to take information from you in combination with information we provide you in combination with your resume and really make an authentic, genuine decision on where you fit in the process moving forward. So this audio video is for you to be able to listen to. And at the end of it, if the information you hear seems consistent with what you're looking for professionally and your career goals, then we're going to ask you for some information. And we're going to give you a chance to complete a questionnaire. It's the same questions that the recruiter would ask you if we set up an interview. However, this gives you a chance to very thoughtfully think about your answers and give us something in writing. You can just dictate right into your phone. It's a very simple form. And then we, we look at that information. Now, I'll tell you, the answers to the questionnaire are in many ways more important than what we see on the resume because we're looking for very specific pieces of information that you may or may not have included on the resume. So we do uh, review every single word. I mean, we read it all. So who's this for? First of all, this is only for candidates that have been pre-qualified for the technical specialist tier three position. And exactly what it says, this is a senior point of escalation. It's a subject matter expert position within uh, Argus IT Services. And uh, the track that we would like to see this person on is to take on potential leadership responsibility in the future. So something like a service delivery manager would be a career pathing uh, strategy next step for this person in this role. So congratulations. Where you are in the process right now is you've seen a job posting or we've reached out to you by email. Uh, there was a pre-screening. Uh, you answered some initial questions. Uh, we reviewed that information and now we're already at next steps. So you might not be aware of it, but you're already in the middle of the process. So my promise to you right now is to give you really valuable information to help you make a decision. And, you know, a lot of this is you know, maybe career coaching, uh, some insights uh, from a recruiting manager's perspective. But ultimately, uh, we know not everyone's going to get a job. So we want to make sure that we treat you like a VIP and leave you better off from the process. So uh, based on the information we have uh, already collected from you, uh, we want to provide uh, several things. First of all, uh, if, if you're looking for uh, a job with more money, that's okay. Uh, but in my opinion, the thing that's most valuable about this opportunity is the growth. So there's a career path that we're looking for. Somebody that maybe has already been in a leadership or a supervisory position, that's great. Or somebody that's been in a subject matter expert position, but not yet been an official supervisor. Maybe they've had uh, PM, project management responsibilities in, in some ways. Uh, that's great. This is a stepping stone. But there's another element to this opportunity that a lot of people don't appreciate. And that is, this is a consulting company. We have a, an MSP division that simply, hand, uh, simply handles all managed services for clients that outsource all their IT to us. We also have a consulting and project-based division that goes out and does ma major projects, everything from uh, laptop refreshes to data center moves. And then we also have uh, on-site teams that provide support, and then on property teams that work within our own organization as remote help desk. So we have a whole lot of different dimensions to the business. And when you're working for a company that services multiple clients, then it is a very, very different role versus being embedded in a company supporting internal IT. 
you, I, I've always told people that if you ever have an opportunity to work for a consulting company, you want to seize that opportunity. You literally will get 10 years of experience in three years because you're dealing with so many different client scenarios. Your resume becomes really, really rich and valuable over a short period of time. And you can stay on that kind of a track where it can be a springboard into some amazing things. So uh, this is a long-term, stable, full-time, W-2 with benefits position. Uh, Argus IT Services, I'll tell you a little bit more about them in a minute, uh, more than what you'd see on the web. And uh, they've been around a long time, but more importantly, this is a full-time role to support a growing operation. So let me introduce myself real quick so you understand and have some context for how I know this stuff. Uh, I'm a part of the recruiting team. I'm one of the managers. And my key objective is really to create a win-win, win-win scenario where you win because it's a great opportunity. Whoever's supporting you at home uh, wins because they're happy you got this type of an opportunity. Uh, we win as a company and then our clients win because they're happy that we hired you because you're the right person to be able to support their needs. Uh, yeah, we do have an aggressive timeline to be able to try to get somebody in a seat before uh, the holidays. So we call this an accelerated virtual recruiting model, and it gives us the ability to move very quickly. You can respond and listen to all this stuff at your convenience, and then we can move quickly from there. So there's no artificial intelligence behind the scenes here. It's all real people. It's just a very different model to be more efficient and better for you without issues like scheduling constraints. So our timeline right now is again trying to shoot to wrap all this up before the Christmas holiday. Uh, so let me give you additional information to help you with potential next steps. So the company Ar Argus IT Services has uh, a very, I would say a mature operationally mature culture for its size. So it's still you know under 50 people. However, you look at it and you think, wow, they have this, um, this level of maturity and capability that is uh, orders of magnitude greater than their size. So they're a mid-sized regional company for sure. However, the, the, the primary owner of the company is a veteran of IBM. And after retiring from you know many years of executive level, partner level experience with IBM, you would naturally expect that he would bring an amazing uh, culture and experience to the organization. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, the core values, for example, are service, passion, integrity, commitment, and excellence. And you know that's strong for a company of its size. I would encourage you to look at the information on the download to see a little bit more information about that. Now, one of the things that I think people need to consider is when they go to work for a company, what's the long-term prognosis for the business? And one of the ways you can diagnose that is to determine what are the market differentiators for the organization, how do they rack and stack relative to competition, and uh, what does it look like for them going forward? So. Uh, Argus has been growing uh, year over year for the past decade and uh, no, no end in sight. Uh, this is an expansion role, so it's indicative of the fact that you know more people are coming on board. Now, the tenure in the market is strong. You've got an organization that was established in 1997, so there's an amazing track record of very positive success, but I think the real proof is in the results that are client uh, cases. So you can look on the website at argusx.com and see examples of client case studies, but really client retention is probably the strongest indicator of success. So internal culture, Absolutely. Servant leadership, well, that's just part of the culture. I can't say it's a faith-based company because it's not a nonprofit organization, but it's a faith-based company. The, the leaders of the business and the owners have a very strong uh, commitment to biblical Christian values. And so you see that show up in their commitment to their clients, their culture, their company, their community, and their people and the commitment to help grow and develop their people. So you don't need to believe the same things. It doesn't matter. It's not an eligibility issue, but you should know that the people that lead the business take ethics, integrity, and commitment very, very seriously, and you can hold them accountable to those standards. So you can read more about the company's mission and vision, uh, both on the web and in the information that you can download. 
So the mission really for this role, um, probably no surprise, as a tier three subject matter expert, you are a senior point of escalation. You're a hands-on person. You're not managing or directing resources. Uh, you are taking all of the, <laughs> all the crazy stuff that rolls uphill. Um, so, you know, it's going to be challenging. It's going to be amazing learning opportunity. It's going to look great on a resume because it's multi-client role. It's not just internally supporting one logo. Um, and again, <clears throat> our goal is for the person that uh, comes on board to have the leadership capabilities. That means you're good with communication. You're good with people. Uh, you've got a track record of prior success and uh, promotions. And you've got a leadership uh, future. So a day in the life uh, looks like a mix of client meetings, uh, task and project management, or working with other team members, uh, providing uh, supervisory support over uh, other team members, and um, analyzing analytics and data information. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much around the duties and responsibilities because you can look at the position profile that's a downloadable PDF and really uh, dig into the meat of it, but probably no surprises there, uh, with the exception that it's a very diverse environment. So you've got both um, you know, la laptop and network and uh, server-based uh, responsibilities and opportunities. And the business does support both you know Apple and other iOS and uh, Microsoft applications as well and operating systems. Uh, one quick thing about the benefits. Uh, we're, we're saying the salary is commensurate with experience. Uh, we, we do market analysis. We know what the value of the work is. Uh, we're competitive, but we're also able to negotiate. So we're not publishing a pay band for this role because we want the flexibility of being able to bring in the right person. So uh, from a recruiting perspective, we typically ask a candidate, what's the minimum you're looking for to jump ship and to take a new role? And then we ask, you know, what's your dream, uh, you know, price point? Uh, what are you looking for to, to earn? And then, you know, what's the midpoint? What, what, what's realistic? Now, the business is going to have an idea already of what the market bears for this specific this specific role. Uh, but it's a good idea for you to have that in mind so you can have those conversations as things move forward. But again, I would argue that even though there's there's health insurance and dental insurance and vision and you know all, all the rest of it in terms of benefits, the real long-term value is what it's gonna do to your future earnings capability. When you are working for a well-recognized set of logos, you've got client organizations that you've supported that are internationally, literally globally recognized brand names. That's who's on the client list. Uh, that does amazing things to your future. And I can tell you, I, I was a consultant for Accenture for like almost 10 years. And in my post Accenture life, I'm you know viewed you know, as somewhat of a rock star because I had that prior consulting experience for a well-recognized brand name. I'm just telling you that that's, that's infinitely more valuable than whatever your, your salary is that you settle on because of what it's gonna do to you for future earnings. So, you know, consider that as well. Now, uh, with regard to requirements, uh, again, you can look at the information on the downloadable brochure, uh, the position overview, but a bachelor's degree is ideal uh, with you know, relevant, similar work experience. We're looking for somebody with at least five years in a similar role. Um, and then also, if you've had responsibilities related to uh, project management, people management, supervisory, you know anything in that regard, let us know. If that's not specifically uh, uh, clearly communicated on your resume, let us know through the uh, questionnaire process. So um, next steps. Okay, e either you are listening to this and thinking, Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> or you're thinking, wow, this sounds really good. Uh, hopefully the latter. Uh, we're going to ask you to complete the questionnaire. You've already been given the link. It's in the same email that you got the link for this uh, audio overview. Uh, tell us, don't be shy. It's your chance to sell yourself about your technical experience, your prior people experience, and anything else you want us to know about your, um, your fit for the role. Now, the next step after that is we do review everything. Uh, we are looking at processing a minimum number of candidates and, you know, rating, ranking and, you know, sorting and sifting all the folks and then setting up the, the conversations to go from there. Um, at this point, I would tell you, uh, don't get discouraged 
if you have um, you know something that you know knocks you out of the role, uh, it just means this isn't for you. Uh, we believe everybody's a VIP when they get into the right seat on the right bus. Uh, we will, uh, as a, a, a parting gift, give you access to some resume, career, and interviewing resources that can help you with your journey and you know your future next steps. It's our way of saying thank you. So uh, you know we want to keep those great relationships regardless of the outcomes and the decisions. So again, my name's Mark. I'm happy to uh, to be able to provide this information, and I'll, I'll just tell. We've been providing recruiting support for Argus for about four years now, and it's really a privilege to be able to represent an organization that has such strong ethics, integrity, and commitment to culture and people. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies where you know you, you, you work for them, but you wish you didn't. Um, this is a, a privilege to be able to work and represent companies like this because we know that when we give people work and career opportunities, they're going to be able to flourish if they're the right person for the role. So um, again, thank you for listening and uh, good luck to you in the process. We'll look forward to getting your information uh, through the questionnaire. Take care.